News failure to convert 2 to 1 lead leaves England with as many questions as answers ahead of World Cup on the eve of the fourth T20I of this series. Mark Wood was asked how big a statement it would be for England to convert their 2 to 1 lead into a series win against India. After sliding to a 3 to 2 loss, the question might be flipped on its head. How worried should England be about their series defeat? It's important to keep things in perspective. This was England's first defeat in a T20I series since 2018 also against India, and their two victories were dominant eight-wicket wins. They will have learned plenty from their three defeats, and from the opportunity to play a five-match series in the T20 World Cup's host country. But equally, this result should provide England with a reality check. They have been at full strength throughout, after players were rested during the test series earlier this winter to ensure Owen Morgan would have a first-choice side at his disposal, and fielded the same 11 throughout the series, with the exception of one injury-enforced change in the second game. There are a huge amount of positives, Owen Morgan said after their 36-run defeat in the series decider. In four out of the five games we've produced some of our best powerplay bowling that we have in the last couple of years. There are, learnings from the back end of the games we've lost, our middle order weren't as sharp as they normally are. One of our strengths is how quickly guys get in and adapt to surfaces, but that, didn't necessarily happen, and in a similar period of the game with our bowlers as well. England backed their playing first choice side, reasoning that it was crucial to give them as much exposure as possible to the conditions, but were beaten by an India attack missing its spearhead in Jaspri Bumrah, not to mention the absences of Ravindra Jadia and Mohammad Shami. And while India rotated to give opportunities to their fringe players, England turned down the chance to do the same with Sam Billings and Moeen Ali. Their failure to get home in run chases in their final two games may also be a frustration. They have been superb in run chases over the last year, chasing down eight targets out of nine including the first two games of the series, but their failure to extend that record will mean teams are less intimidated by them heading into the World Cup. As Bhuvneshwar Kumar and Shardul Thakur showed, their six hitters can be vulnerable against pace off options in the second half of an innings, particularly on pitches offering grip. Their poor start with the ball also undid some of the strides they had taken earlier in the series. Having seemingly addressed their problems in the power play in the first four games, England leaked 60 runs inside the first six overs on Saturday night, with their three best bowlers, Jafra Archer, Adil Rashid and Wood, all bowling two each.